Hey guys, welcome your wonderful faces back to some more Ultimate Road to Glory. Meet the new team. Yeah, it's really not my new team. It's the team of the week and it is absolutely stacked. So we finish in Elite 2, we get ourselves 100k pack, team of the week pack and also 100,000 coins which we will open in just a second. What I want to try and explain to you that I didn't do very well in the last episode is basically Sanchez, I think he's going to get a player of the month, not this month, for next month so he's only played one game in December currently he's on fire though so I'm gonna put in my coins and that is the investment that I'm gonna make and that's why I purchased Medell loads of Medell cards I did say though in the last episode that Medell is the highest rated Chilean player and that's not factually correct at all you have Vidal Sanchez and also Bravo I'm basically trying to explain that Medell is one of those high rated players that you wouldn't mind putting into the SBC as he's not really that expensive and he's of the high rating so he's going to bring up the rating for the Chilean team so that's just my investment guys it's not for this month it's for next month personally I think that Diego Costa will be for this month or Aguero so you guys can do your investments anyway let's jump into the packs and see what we get last week guys we hit elite one and the two 100k packs were an absolute fail i'm looking to pull a benzema that would be awesome or a team of the week player so let's go please come on ea it's not going to be a walkout it's all right it's pretty decent the fire man yeah this guy right he is an absolute tanking goal i keep coming up against him He's a monster. He's basically the German Begovic or the German Butland. Yeah, one of the two. We've got Cadius as well. Another German keeper. Another German keeper. Jesus, man. What's up with all the Germans right now? Again, that is a terrible pack. Cabela. Yes, Cabela is a legend of the series. He helped me get to Elite One. <laughs> well, one of the times. Girls and Martins as well. That's pretty sweet. Really, though, EA? Really? That is a terrible pack. I'll store it all into the club. I think Royce is a walkout, guys. We also have nine Golan that I would love to pack. Benteke. Mm, yeah, please. Come on, Benteke. It's not a walkout. Please give me something good. Please. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, out of every single team of the week that is in the team of the week. Oh, that hurts, man. That really hurts. You cannot do this to me two weeks in a row, EA. So I've had three team of the week packs and they've all been like this. What am I supposed to do with these cards? Literally, he doesn't look too bad, though. I'd never see myself using him, though. 13,000 coins. Well, it all adds up, really. We can discard them for 10k, pretty much. He's going to be going for 12,000 coins, and I doubt this guy right here. He doesn't even look good. He's slow, and his defending stats aren't that great for a CDM. And he's not 40,000. He's not even 20,000, 16,000. All right. So we've made probably about 30, 40K. So it's not so bad, really, in the end. If you guys haven't been around for the past couple of days, David Villa... MVP was released into the SBC 84 rated and if you want to see an in-depth review then I've made a separate video on my channel I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to go and check it out after this one Just a quick summary though is a pretty decent player And this is the opportunity for me to bring in a special card to the ultimate road to glory series and as I have quite a few of these MLS players already I thought why not try and finish off the team so we've got two options do we sell the ones that we've got right now for 30,000 coins, probably not even 30,000 coins. Some of them have really dropped in price. Or do we go and purchase the rest of the team for 20,000 coins? So I think I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to complete it, guys. I'm going to bring in the special SBC. The only issue that I'm facing is that in the left back position, oh dear, I oh did. There's only one left back. So yeah, 10,000 coins for the left back. We're going to have to spend, I think it was about 10,000 coins for the right back as well. Seaman, has he dropped in price? Oh, 6,000. Oh, no, those ones have expired. He should be about 5,000 coins, surely. 3,800. Let me add that one to the transfer list. So, yeah, I was right in saying 20, 26, say 26,000 coins if I do get them on their bins. All of the other left back and right backs are extinct, so I'm having to force myself to go and purchase these for their bins. Otherwise, we're not even going to be able to get them. And Kaka's pretty damn cheap because there are so many of him. 
Right, I think I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to complete this challenge. I will be right back. Finally, guys, I've completed it. I had to make a few changes. I brought in a right back that I wasn't really intending to bring in just because all the other ones were getting binned. And that's the problem. As the Jovinko squad building challenge is still around, all the MLS silver and bronze cards just keep their price, which is not good for a challenge like this. Let's go through the team, though, and I'll show you exactly how much I purchased them for. So first owner, 9,700, which is really expensive. 6,400 for Seaman. First owner, 10,000 coins. Had to bin him. All the other ones were getting bought. First owner, first owner, 1,700 for Kaka. First owner, first owner and first owner. So I haven't really spent too much. Yes, you could argue that I could sell on the players that I already had from the packs. I don't mind though. I think that's a good price for a special David Veer card that he is going to be kept into the club forever. So there we go. 84 rated David Veer. Look at those stats. Absolutely love him. Let's bring him in. Right guys, we have made another signing in the Ultimate Road to Glory series. Benzema. Welcome, Benzema. So for the upcoming weekend league requirements, you're needing a team that consists of only three nations. Wales, that's going to be Bale. Ivory Coast, Olier, and the rest of the team is obviously the French side. So with Aubameyang, he will not be able to start. I might sub him on depending on how the game is playing out. Lacazette. I'm in two minds whether or not to sub him on at the start or wait until half time. So I have brought in Benzema into the centre mid position. Not only do I want to play him there and see how he actually performs, we are needing that camera with Bale. So that's why I did decide to go and purchase Benzema. So let's change his position from centre forward to centre mid to get him on max chemistry. I did purchase him with the shadow, uh, sorry, the Hawk chemistry style. And there is something really weird with the market right now. If you go and put in bids, it'll say that you've won that bid and then in the expired items it will show you how much that player has gone for so really you have no chance of purchasing players on open bid right now the game needs to be updated for sure have i got a cam center mid yes i do so menzema is ready to go i've seen a few people play him as a center mid so who knows in game i may even change it up like that would he be a white would he be good as a white center mid probably not i don't think so maybe maybe use kante as a left center mid we'll see how uh, that goes down another thing that i wanted to ask you guys would you like me to bring in the special matuidi card the mustache one that has an increase to his physical stats i'm looking to keep the team not exactly the same but we'll improve it in the future so instead of me bringing in just high rated cars i want to bring in players that i really like using myself and matuidi is fantastic and when i haven't used him i've started to notice it in that right center mid position so would that be a good upgrade let me know in the comments benyeda is going to be starting for us though i yeah like i said i probably will bring on lacazette see how benyeda does so i want to test out the team today as bale is now on full chemistry so we can really see what he's capable of, of doing for us and Benzema purchased him for 57,000 coins which is pretty expensive that's a good games to goal ratio though if um even a striker actually so we might even switch him around who knows right let's go into the game guys is everyone fully fit custom tactics are all good uh we got full fitness oh, we haven't got any fitness cards though damn son oh that's all good though yeah, that'll be fine. We are one game away from securing the title in Division 3. Look at that, guys. A full French team. Pretty much every single player I have in my team, apart from Asanya, Ben Arthur, Ruffier, Payet. Okay, maybe it's quite different. I haven't actually come up against the 4 4. Ooh. I haven't come up against the 4 4 2 formation, 4 triple 2 formation for a long time. I don't think many people use it for some reason. Maybe it's just not that good. That's a great challenge from Kante though. I haven't made any changes to the side whatsoever. Bale inside the box already. Oh my goodness me. 5 minutes 40 on 10 chemistry and he's found the back of the net. Maybe the 6 chem was really affecting him. That was a great goal. Lovely from Ben Yedda. Bale to Martial. That link up play was phenomenal. Martial. Oh. Dear, oh dear, what have I done? Well done, Matweedy. Look at that. Perfect challenge from Matweedy. And Gareth Bale does feel a lot better. It could be the game, though. Honestly, it could be. Because last weekend league, it was terrible. And that was a fantastic pass through. Was that Benzema, actually, that set that up? No, it couldn't have been because he's over here. That's a nice one, too. It's Benzema. Thread it. We've got Martial running in. And what was I saying about his weaker foot across goal? Oh, dear. All right, maybe I missed that up. <laughs> Oh, that, that was a perfectly timed pass. And that's Griezmann. He's not missing that 1-1. One, one. A little bit of a shame, to be honest, because we've been through at least three times in this match. And it should realistically be 3-1. Just haven't taken my chances. And that's been my fault anyway. There we go. 
he, he thought, see, basically, he was marking, go on, Ben Yedda, five-star weak foot across, another save from Ruffier, he was marking Bale, he thought I wanted to play over to him, no, when Ben Yedda's through, I will find, uh, I will find him, go on, let's work this in, is he going to overcommit again, he's, he's allowed, oh, he allowed me to come away with that, is he going to play it quickly, I thought so, cross it in, big header, oh, that's Ben Zimmers, he scored on his debut, and what a scrappy goal that was. I will take it, though. We really should be in the lead, and finally, we've got the goal. What was that, man? That was handball. I don't know how Koscielny is like that in the air. Halftime it is, and I'm going to leave Benzema as the centre mid, but I'm going to take off Ben Yedda and bring on Lacazette, just to see what he can add to the team. And let's uh, wrap this game up. So Benzema playing as a centre mid. He's doing a good job, actually. He's getting some nice tackles in. He's already got himself that debut goal from a centre mid position. Very nice. He is now starting to push a few more players up the pitch, which is fine. I'm, I'm cool with that because that means the openings will come and Lacazette is calling for it. Couldn't get the ball over to him. No, that's a terrible mistake from a poor player. Really, you can't be doing that in Division 3, man. I'm sorry. It was a gift for Lacazette, and that's 3-1. He was still in the game, though, and with that mistake, and usually that's what happens with me, it's I've made the mistake to allow my opponent in. On the edge to Kante, I'm going to drag back. That was pretty sweet. Oh, damn. It didn't really work, though. Well, it did. I think it threw him off just slightly. I didn't react quick enough. Bale, though. Go on, Bale. Look at that. That is the physical stats that we are after. Holding off his man. Two men, actually, and then shoots across goal with his weaker foot. Bale. Go on, Bale again. Not again. Look at that pace. Oh, my goodness. Shoot across goal, Bale. Oh, dear. It was lagging a little bit. Go on, Bale. Flick it over your head. <laughs> what is going on here? Finish. Oh, Ruffier. Another big save from Ruffier. Lovely passing. Really nice link up right now. This is this is unstoppable, really. He, he doesn't know where I'm going to go. I'm going to end up scoring this move. I have a feeling it's coming. We're going to play that across. I told you it's coming. That link up play. Oh, one of the best link up play goals I have scored so far in the series. Full time, guys, and that could easily have been 10 1. We missed a lot of chances in that game, but to finish off with a 5 1 win over a pretty decent opponent, he was in the game until he made that awful mistake and gifted that goal to me, and then I ran away with it. Until that point, though, he was still in the game. Bale felt much better. Awesome start. Seven wins, one draw, no losses. A nice clean record going into Division 2. Now it's starting to get real. So I am really interested in bringing in the Mustache Matweedy. His price currently is anywhere between 50 to 60,000 coins. The Nine form is selling for 43, well, 44, 45k. I don't know really how much. I know that the Mustache card has only been increased in the physical stats. Do you think that's worth it? 89 physical seems really good. And then if you were to add a chemistry style to that, he's going to be really strong and just aggressive so let me know do you think it's worth it i'd love to bring in that mustache matweedy so yeah let me know so not last weekend but the weekend before that when we were using the 4-3-2-1 side with pretty much every single player that you're seeing in this team it was awesome i really do feel comfortable with this team now we've basically replaced lucas for bale keeping the same structure of the team i've really noticed that bale in that right forward position is so much better and it goes without saying he's 90 rated he's on another level so i really do feel confident now attacking down that right hand side also Martial is still in the team with Ben Yedda I didn't feel that he was affecting the side and at half time I will bring on Lacazette centre mid position Benzema he was doing a good job there and I quite like Kante as the left centre mid actually because then he can just run across the pitch and just get people that are trying to sort of cut across I quite like it so I'm going to keep the team exactly the same move into the second game bring on Lacazette at half time like I did before and see how we get on let's go second game of the episode 4-1-2-1-2 is that Boney? Boney and Vardy up top I wonder if he's going to play into Boney use that shielding and pop it over the top to Jamie Vardy yeah I think that's what's going to happen. Kante is always the player that comes short. I don't know if I can change that somehow. I'm going to play it over to Bale, though. Drop inside. Cross that back post. Butland. Oh, dear. Yeah, we're against Butland. Let's work this a little bit better than the last one. He thought I was going to play it back to Bale. Always keep him guessing, man. Lovely flick around the corner and finished it off with a Tweedy. Oh, I haven't really broken through completely yet. I feel that there is a little bit of a... Oh, my goodness. He's, he's taking me out of there. 
Oh my goodness, I didn't see that. Matweedy, his neck has been broken in half. Hold on, bail from the free kick. I'll see if I can pop this in. Bail, three and a bit bars. Well, that's three bars. Bail! Jeez, that wasn't far wide, actually. That's it, hold him off. He's made the mistake. I was just waiting for that. Martial is open. He has pushed up way too many players. And Martial, what was I saying about his... Was that... Was it? I don't think that was his weaker foot, was it? It was his right foot. It's a good shot, though. That was the driven shot. Lovely. Double tap it. Power it up. Hit it again, and it's going to fly in. Even past Butland, man. Division 2, guys, and a fantastic way to start off. We are dominating, and as he did feel like he couldn't get into the game, he went ultra-attacking. It left gaps in his defense, and we were able to get through really easy, actually, with um, Martial. So I am going to be bringing on... Lacazette, I was about to say Ben Yedda. Bringing on Lacazette and seeing if we can add something to our attack. Uh, that was unlucky. It was a good idea. He's managed to still get the ball to Danny Rose. That ball back post is dangerous. Is Benzema there? Oh my goodness. His first shot and who's... Is that Deli Ali? Yeah, it's Deli Ali. That's a good goal though. But Jesus, first shot, first goal. Damn, son. Big win. That's it, Kante. Well done. Important. And through. Look at that positioning from the man, the legend, Lacazette. Do we really need a score building challenge card when he can score goals like that? And I was just saying, he got the goal as defensive, 1-1. One, one, and then he turned to ultra attacking. I don't know what he's doing. If he keeps it as defensive, he's very difficult to break down. Deli Ali. Oh my goodness, what happened there with Kante? Completely missed... Read the ball and look at that recovery speed. <laughs> He's just on. Imagine if he does get a team of the year. Imagine if Kante gets a team of the year. His card will be the best sentiment card ever. Full time. And although we only won that game 2 1, his goal, I don't want to say it was just lucky. It was a great strike. Deli Ali is capable of doing that. First shot, first goal, top corner from a weird angle. Yeah, it could have easily gone wide. So fair play, got back into the game because of that. I felt comfortable all throughout though 2-1 it was a good win rest in peace the market right now every single item is expired i need a contract what is going on this game right now so i'm having to bin contracts i can't even bin contracts because they've expired right guys Aurelier is out of contracts and the game is completely messing up so there we go that is going to be the last game of the episode apologies for that I don't know what is going on. They had the maintenance and the gameplay smooth. Now the market is completely broken. I don't know what to say. Anyway, I'm very happy with the way the team has been playing. Kante in that left centre mid position. Usually, I would play him as the centre mid and tell him to stay back while attacking. Did I have the play instructions for him to stay back? No, I didn't. I didn't actually have... Oh, get him high. Oh, sorry. No, I didn't. Oh, that's pretty that's interesting actually because i felt really strong defensively without having my middle center mid to stay back maybe it just added to my attack so instead of him dropping back he's always just keeping his position where it's adding pressure to my opponent so i quite like ben zimmer as the uh, middle center mid he did well can't say amazing bale felt a lot better on 10 chemistry ben Yedda was doing all right when i brought on lacazette it just completely changed the dynamic of the side so that is where i'm going to end the episode guys if you want to recommend me players to be brought in i want to keep this same structure and keep keep the players eventually bring in maybe the informed versions of kashelny if he gets one varan loris he has an informed card already cliche i would love Ore as well. I thought he was going to get a team of the week and then he just wasn't included. Not this week. I think it was a couple of weeks back. Matweedy though, I'm wanting to bring in that moustache card and the rest are, I'm going to be keeping exactly the same. So drop a like on the video guys. I'm ready for the weekend league. Let me know what your teams are looking like in the comments or tweet me at Fuji720P YT is my um, Twitter. Fuji720P YT. Yeah, that's the one. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. See you now. Peace.